Yo, ladies and gentlemen, on to the last uh, single off of this episode four EP. I'm assuming all these videos are going to be part of a soundtrack that comes at the end of this at the end of the month or at the end of the show. Um, but so far, so good. These songs are much better than I anticipated, especially considering the song, like the main song in the show is very cringy, uh, which is I'm a freak like that track. It's just cringy, um, but this is this is so much better. This definitely has the weekend's hand on it versus like, let's write a song for this show. I'm excited. Let's see what we got. Fill the Void, Lily Rose, Debt, and Ramsey. This would be a crazy sample for a rap track. She sounds solid. She sounds like dreamy as fuck. She can't be this hot and this talented, right? She's she's hot. Is she not hot? Are we all under the impression unanimously that she is a very attractive person? and then down and then up is so fire bro that shit goes so hard i don't know if i like this track or the first one more the first one sounded like my dear my dear melancholy this one sounds more like kiss land a little bit like a like a more modern version of kiss land like if kiss land was made in the after hours world or in the my dear melancholy world that's what this would sound like This one is like more written to be a hit. This one's like written to hit, if that makes sense. The synths are so crazy. How are you this good at playing synths? You know? What blows my mind about synths is that like, there is an infinite way that you can make synth sound. So how do you like land on the sound of a synth that you want, you know? Bro, you could tell that this is written by The Weeknd because that, uh, that's like such a signature sound of The Weeknd. That part right there. Yeah, so this one is that, that's Jenny right there, right? This is Jenny. So it, it what other song does he do that on? The Weekend Mike Dean, bro. Hey, yo, it's 
so cringe when he was like, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, bringing in Mike Dean. Do you know him? Shut up, Ted Tedros. Yeah, uh, out of the three, it definitely goes fill the void. One with the girls or one of the girls and then jealous guy. Jealous guy just doesn't even sound like it belongs because it's a cover of John Lennon. You know, like when he did a cover of Dirty Diana, it sounded like The Weeknd because the lyrics of Dirty Diana sound very much like something The Weeknd would write. So it makes sense for him to cover that like that. Uh, jealous guy just doesn't sound impactful enough compared to fill the void in one of the girls so this is two for three for me um jealous guy is a skip for me completely i would never listen to that song again uh, but fill the void in one of the girls i most definitely would re-listen